Hi everybody. Not too long ago, I released a video showing my Logisim simulation of an 8-bit computer project I've been building by following along with Ben Eater's YouTube series. Okay, well, we'll get started by loading the simulation. There we go. And one of the things that I like to do right off the bat is get my oscillator going so I don't forget to do that later. You can do that by hitting Control K on the keyboard. Uh, we'll talk more about this other stuff here in just a little bit. For now, we're going to start by taking a look at the W bus. Um, this is the main data bus. I call it the W bus in this example. And um, one of the things you'll see here, um, things are arranged in columns. And to reduce the amount of clutter, um, I've used these connectors for some of the buses. So in this case, you see the W bus here. And uh, it's repeated over here for this column, and it's repeated over here for this column. And uh, that's also done with some of the other signals, like the clock and the reset, things like that, um, where they're needed all over the place. So um, anyway, that's the W bus, and uh, let's uh, move over here to the program counter. Seems to be a good place to begin. Uh, the program counter basically controls uh, where the instructions from memory are fetched and basically is what steps us through our program. Um, it's basically a uh, counter register and uh, it can either uh, output its contents or um, have the contents uh, input. Uh, there's also an, a signal to control whether we want it to increment. We don't want it to increment on every clock cycle, but we do um, after every instruction fetch. Um, and so that's all controlled uh, on this counter uh, chip. And uh, in order to um, fetch the instructions, we need memory. And uh, memory requires an address to tell it which memory location we uh, want to access. And then um, we've got the RAM uh, display down here, which basically shows us the value that we're reading and writing from that memory location, whatever we put in the address register, which in the case of a fetch would be the program counter. Um, and uh, one of the things I didn't have to do here is implement the address and data switches for programming. Um, it's uh, in Logisim, it's just as simple as loading a file. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and do that while we're here. You do that by right clicking, load image, and we'll go up to the sample code. And we'll talk more about how I generated uh, some of this sample code uh, in just a little bit. But you can see now there is contents in the memory, and uh, pretty soon we'll start uh, stepping through that. All of this content is available on my GitHub repository. If you've enjoyed this, please hit the like button, subscribe, and hit the bell to be notified of future videos in this series. And as always, thanks for watching.